Aloha folks, it's Game Gabster. Welcome, yes, to the um, Beast Pro server. Today, I'm just doing a, it's not a tutorial, it's mostly just a showcase of how uh, I worked on my nuclear reactor and how, you know, give you some ideas, inspirations for how you could do it in your own uh, ultimate server or base. Yes, I know, our base is really awesome and cool. It's still in pro uh, progress though, I can actually just go through this quickly. Um, you'll see here is the library, oh shit. And we're gonna close this off and make it a secret entrance down. Put I need to put some more furniture in here. Then there's gonna be a bathhouse here, and an upper floor there, and then some viking style buildings uh, upstairs. In any case, uh, if we just go straight down here, let's go, first floor, this way, I'm just going to open, I still need to put some sign or monitor here saying that this is the nuclear area, just to make it look cool. Um, completely obsidian surrounded, not that it will ever blow up, I doubt it, it's just mostly for aesthetic purposes and because we, I could, and I so I did it. Um, open this with a floppy disk uh, you'll see here kind of well furnished but this doesn't actually matter it's not the nuclear reactor so let's go down oh no 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 actually yeah let's go straight down let's go directly to the nuclear reactor um, we have four reactors here in this room it's not the, this is not the most pretty thing uh, I've shown this in the last episode of, of um, the latest installment of at the Beast Bros server episodes, uh, but uh, yeah, each one has a screen with with uh, a, a reactor sensor location kit card that you get, and it shows here uh, the vital stats and things. And I put a number on them just to recognize which reactor is which, because I have a control room upstairs, and these things are controlled by ME systems or like applied energi energistics. Uh, ME systems are really awesome, and uh, you see this is an uh, import bus into the ME system, so it takes out near depleted uranium cells, and it places, um, if we just go around to a more desirable place here, it places a, a dual uranium cell, and the design of the, the reactors have actually, need to be able to uh, withstand this, or like, adapted this you can't have any empty spaces in the reactor uh, all the reactors are off right now because I'm full on power and we haven't connected anything extra but anyway uh, you'll see so yeah only the this is full or has space there's four cells so each reactor gives me an about 100 EU per tick we have a total output of 400 EU per tick and I can always change the design up if I find something more efficient, uh, we always, ha always have thorium and plutonium cells that we can p put in there to bump up the production if required. Uh, but it's very automatic. It's you know uh, my aim in this project was to make it as automated as possible, but not too complicated. Uh, obviously, this is a wireless receiver, sends a redstone redstone signal in that direction, and turns on the reactors. Uh, one when I send the signal from upstairs um, also a great way to manual override if you if you know you're having a meltdown you you can just run up to the reactors uh, sacrifice your life and hit down these things destroy them and make sure that everything su survives but otherwise the re the reactors are encased in hardened glass which is very uh, blast resistance we also have rooms made of obsidian you'll see this is hardened glass and reinforced stone that should really protect against the blast uh, but I doubt this their blast will ever happen it's very aesthetic as well um, because as you'll see here it says melting temperature 25,500 and the current temperature is off, uh, offline is about you know 18 to 17 degrees uh, however what uh, the, the temperature with these uranium uh, cells here it gets up to about 300 roughly uh, when online 
was running at you know 100 year per tick per reactor and that's pretty pretty decent uh, so I doubt it will ever go to 25,000 and I'll show you a system that I have upstairs that uh, you know gets me uh, the entire base alarmed in case something happens uh, or isn't on the process of happening here on the left we've got uh, that's a, a camouflage button but here on the left we've got an automated crafting system with the applied energistics ME uh, system thingy uh, what happens here is super cool uh, basically comes in you can ma uh, macerate different things and that's uh, uranium macerates uranium uh, then we have a centrifuge here yeah so it puts the uranium dust here uh, and I don't know is it working it is working I believe maybe it's just the lack of uh, cells um, but this should work and then actually I think we might be out of lava that, that might be it uh, that's why we don't have any power here currently but I'm gonna connect the reactor power to to the main system soon or make it the main system rather uh, but then we also have like a compressor to make the ingots and to make them and then we have a automatic canning machine that takes thorium and plutonium and um, other things and makes them into the cells that we need and this is an automated crafting system that I made uh, here's plutonium cells once I get um, dense copper plates and plutonium cells takes it out of the ME system goes in here this is a uh, shows the recipe goes through here out that um, pipe here up to the chest and back into the ME system so that's sweet it's really cool I don't have to do much at all uh, on the left we have our storage system this was extremely expensive to make lots of uh, crystals and things but uh, holds up to 60 million uh, EU and we're our only power out right now is to the alarm system upstairs but I have, uh, again, I'll connect it to the main system soon, or make this the main system. Uh, what else? Okay, so if we leave the... Oh yeah, you'll see that above here, we have a thick, thick, super insulated uh, cable and painted as well so that they don't go into each other and cause trouble. Of course, each, each of these can actually take about 2,400 and... 40 2448 EU per tick uh, without uh, anything going wrong so it's like uh, extreme high voltage it's not extreme voltage it's just high voltage um, but that's decent I, I don't think any of these reactors are ever going to give me more than 2000 EU per tick each um, yeah let's go upstairs Upstairs, we've got oh shit, sorry, elevator problems. Uh, this is the alarm system. You saw the wires below; they come in uh, here. They connect to this. These things are powered with EU 32 U per tick to be specific, and you can also place batteries if you if you like. But here's it's called the remote thermal monitor, and you have to have the reactor um, sensor location kit thing. Uh, make give you a card from each reactor uh, and it will you know uh, you can choose which temperature it should go off on and once it goes off it sends a signal to all its sides uh, it's just not diagonally I believe but just this side these sides and I put an alarm in front of each one so that when I if it does sound I can come down here and I can see which one uh, which reactors actually I need to shut shut down uh, but the alarms are all the same uh, the range is 180 uh, and it's gonna be very loud when I try this out in just a few seconds uh, so be sure to put down the volume um, yeah so I can see blah 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 108 28 range that's very far because our base on that just that is like 32 by 32 maybe is it where is it 64 by 64 I don't remember our base isn't you know too large I think this can be heard from almost everywhere in the base uh, which is what we need 
So, let's try out the alarm system. The, currently the temperatures down there are about 20 degrees, that's nothing. Uh, it goes up to, you know, huge numbers. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go to take this down to zero. Ow. Uh, plus. Sorry. Yeah, you see, this is very loud. You, you can hear it everywhere. Um, this is mostly just aesthetic. It's I, I'm not too proud of the actual look of the bit of the nuclear area, but it looks industrial, and it's it's pretty decent. It does the job, and so that's that's what matters. This inside here, it still has to be filled with other things. Uh, over here, we have the actual control room. Here, you can see the how much energy we we've got, how much uh, energy we can have on those six things and you know I could do this individually but these cards like their card qu quantity six it only goes up to six uh, and I can see each card info uh, but that's you know kind of pointless because you, I'm basically only trying to find uh, you know what it is uh, and then we have the time we also uh, max rank just to joined in there I'm not gonna talk to him and then just ignore him. Uh, and then I have lava tanks, that's uh, another thing, it's not the reactor, it's just uh, to see how much we have, but we don't have, which is kind of bad. Um, anyway, here are the reactors. Hi. I am doing tutorial. Um, yeah. No, but yeah, you can see the reactors here, also using uh, reactor um, sensor location cards. Uh, really nice, you know, you come in here, you're like, holy shit, it's gonna blow. Um, and you also see the max heat, 30,000, melting point output. Uh, you, you can see also the remaining time, I really love the remaining time, that's like real life time. Uh, and generally the cycle of these particular reactors, uh, the setup I have right now with double uranium cells, is about 2 hours and 57 minutes. Uh, yeah. And to turn them on, you obviously just, you know, pull the lever, the send the signal to the things I showed before, and it works like a beauty. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, but there's still work to do, and the reactors are basically done. Uh, until I need, I notice that we need breeding reactors or uh, actual thorium or plutonium, you know, real power, which I doubt we'll ever really need. Uh, you know, then I'll upgrade the things. But for now, for for you know, intermediate end game kind of level, without having to have super factories or anything, 400 EU per tick is quite a lot, and it's uh, pretty decent. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been Game Bastard. Make sure to check out the Beast Bros series and my strategy games that I play. And uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.